hi everyone my name is Diego and in this video we will see about how is the best way to handle asynchronous process with QoS and uh, for example these examples is really common are really common when you have a really a long process in the server size for example when you buy a ticket for a cinema uh, in, in that case you will get a notification in which they told you that the transaction is in process but uh, in the few minutes or in a few moments your transaction will be confirmed or it's really common for example when you have a high peaks of traffic, a high amount of requests per second in a certain hours of, of a day but in the rest of the day you don't have a much transaction so you can use this asynchronous process to um, balance the traffic in your server uh, along the entire day so in this example i have a, a docker uh, i'm going to put uh, in the description the all the links so in this video i will talk about the a most common error uh, when you are working with this uh, process. So let's start with a third example. Uh, a really common error is uh, when you don't handle uh, in the right way the exceptions. So you need to be sure that uh, if every single uh, unexpected error occurs in your process, you need to catch that exception for example maybe it's a wrong uh, response from an external service or something like that so you need to catch that ex exception and you need to return that message to the queue in order to be uh, processed uh, will be processed again so, so I will put in the description uh, this uh, recommendation one is the acknowledge and the other is the Herbert so um, uh, here will be force this exception and an exception in the middle of, of the process so here is our exception and if you can see here uh, th this one message without confirmation but this message uh, has returned to the queue so this is the right way uh, to handle this kind of error if I run this worker again I, the message 0 will be read it as you can see so this is a uh, um, really best practice uh, is the right way to handle these these messages uh, so for example if you have more than one worker if you multiply this uh, multiple error in different part of the process that will be really confused uh, to handle so you need from the beginning start uh, handle this kind of, of exception so uh, Another common error is when you run a worker with a collection that is uh, kept alive forever because it's a really bad idea because for example uh, a worker uh, can be uh, die or killed uh, maybe for uh, operating system error or um, another unexpected error not related with the source code so in, in that case if the worker die uh, the connection will be kept forever and the message won't be returned to the queue so I, I run I run the process and I kill the process you can see there is one message without confirmation uh, but this message is still present in the queue and will be continuing in the queue forever because uh, as I said before the connection is uh, keep alive forever so this uh, uh, and the other error, uh, uh, another error about poor handling exception uh, are the, the worst scenarios in your asynchronous process. So, uh, what we need to do here is to uh, put a timeout in our connection in order to fix that. I can try to I can try to run the same process again, but as you can see, message number zero has not been read because uh, 
is that method is a keep with the other connection of the first process. So this is an, an error. Uh, I I can kill this this work and I, I can try to work to run this work in again, but uh, the method is still in in the queue. So the hidden example will have only ten messages and one message uh, won't be read it. So so you need to be really careful about with this kind of, of error so what I'm going gonna do now is to purge uh, the queue but the message uh, won't be uh, cleared won't be raised as you can see so now uh, what I'm gonna do is to delete uh, the queue and then I, I'm going to queue more message uh, and I will show what is the best way to handle this kind of error. So we have our queue, we have 11 message, and uh, we are now we are gonna run the right process. So here uh, I handle the the connection, the idle connections, and let's try. I kill the worker uh, in the middle, and the process has not be completed um, and you can see here uh, here there's one message without confirmation but in this case this message will return to the queue as you can see because as you can see here uh, there is no more idle connection in the queue so this is the best way to handle uh, this kind of error so mes message zero uh, was not processed uh, so you need to uh, handle this error in, in this way. I can, I can try to run the same process again and as you can see uh, I read message number zero but I, I can stop the process quickly so I uh, the process read message number one but was stopped in the middle of the process. As you can see uh, here there is one message again but this message will return to the queue as you can see. So this is the, the the best way. Message zero was processed successfully. Message message one no. And um, I can now uh, run the process again, and uh, it start from message one, then number two, three, and it will continue until it it ends. So we can see here is the connection of this worker. So in this case, uh, the process has finished in the right way. So there is no message uh, lost in, in this process. So that this is the this is the way that I recommend how to handle this uh, asynchronous process. Uh, this kind of process has uh, a lot of advantages, uh, as I mentioned before. For example, you can uh, repair uh, the capacity of your server along all the day and also you can run uh, more than one worker uh, at the same time so we're gonna to publish uh, 10 message again and uh, here I have uh, some uh, workers um, it's only a basic example but it depends if you use Celery or depend on the technology you, you can put this in a cron tab or another process uh, like Celery to uh, run this uh, worker in automatically. So here in, in the in the description, I will put um, an example uh, made in Java. So uh, no matter which language uh, do you use, it's the same. So I run all of the workers, and as you can see, they're all reading a message, uh, but they're not reading the same message. Uh, every worker re read his the next message in the queue. So uh, this is the, the this is a way to handle this this process, and you you can see as as we see so before, uh, if one worker uh, has died or has problem, the the message will be returned to to the queue. So you can try this in your home, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel here in the upper corner. You find a lot of videos in Spanish, but don't worry, I will translate them. Um, but there is a lot of uh, practical examples. So thank you for your time. 
and I hope uh, we can continue together in this process. Bye.